It's often difficult to be anywhere without seeing someone talking or texting on a cell phone. Cell phones these days are like lifelines for parents. Many of us actually don't even have a line line anymore. We wanted to know whether children of parents who were sent text messages would be more likely to receive an influenza vaccination than those who weren't texted. Dr. Melissa Stockwell from New York Presbyterian Hospital and Columbia University Medical Center and co-authors conducted a randomized controlled trial involving more than 9,000 low-income children aged six months to 18 years. These children received medical care at four clinic sites in New York City. Many people think the flu is just a bad cold, or they think that they or their child aren't at risk for the flu. One group of parents received text messages encouraging flu vaccinations and information about the flu. Oscar Pena, the hospital's patient safety coordinator and a parent himself, helped researchers devise easy to understand text messages in both English and Spanish. Even though we might come from different backgrounds, sometimes it's important to have a genetic message that anybody across the board can understand. The other parents received only automated telephone reminders and access to informational flyers about the flu at their clinic sites. Children of parents who were texted were more likely to receive their flu vaccine by the end of the flu season in the spring. The study appears in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. They were more likely to receive their vaccination by the late fall before the flu begins circulating in the community. Text messaging is also a helpful way for clinicians to reach families they treat with important information. Although this intervention worked, many children aren't vaccinated against the flu. And the flu is a serious illness and it's important that children are vaccinated. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.